Okay, let's move on to the next topic. The next topic is higher order derivatives. What are higher order derivatives? Well, instead of finding the derivative once, you find the derivative twice, three times, four times, or as many times as I want you to do them. So a higher order derivative is still just finding a derivative, it's just repeating the process. Find the derivative of the derivative would be called the second derivative. And they start off with a wonderful example of, of why would we care about higher order derivatives. And so let's read this first paragraph. It says, just as you can obtain a velocity function by differentiating a position function, you could obtain the acceleration function by differentiating a velocity function. So if you take the derivative of position, you get velocity. If you take the derivative of velocity, you get acceleration. And so here you have this little, let me kind of highlight this for you. In this part right here, you have a of t equals v prime of t, which is s, and if you see, there's two primes, so I call that double prime, meaning the second derivative. So it says the function a of t is the second derivative of s of t, the position function, and denoted by s double prime of t. So now you just have higher order derivatives. You have your first derivative, which is our y prime. Now we have a second derivative, which is two primes in there, or the other notation is d squared, so the derivative twice with respect to x twice is how you would read that. You have your third derivative right here, that's three primes. And then what I want you to notice is from four primes on up, um, instead of doing prime, 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 literally four primes, any from four on up, what you're gonna do is put parentheses around the number, meaning that's the derivative, and that gives us the final one for the nth derivative. If you want to find the, sorry, highlighter, nth derivative of that, um, they just put it up to the nth power. So um, what do we concentrate on in this class? What we are going to concentrate on is primarily, in all honesty, just the first and second derivative. Those are primarily what we consider in this class, the first and second derivative. Of course, in these next examples, we're going to find some higher order derivatives, but what we're really going to be analyzing and using this semester are the first and second derivative. Okay, um, and it's a little weird because if you think about the first derivative is the instantaneous rate of change, or the rate of change, right, the slope, and then the second derivative would be the rate of change of the rate of change. So yeah, my slope's positive, but as I go to the right, is my slope getting more positive, or is it getting less positive, okay? Or is it even turning to be negative? So when we wanna look at how is the slope changing, we're looking at the rate of change of the rate of change, and we would now be having to look at the second derivative of the function. So we're gonna be looking again at first derivatives and second derivatives primarily, but in this section we'll look at some higher order derivatives. It says find the first four derivatives of f of x equals six x cubed minus two x squared plus one. Okay, not a problem there. Let's just find our first derivative. So we'll find f prime of x. That's simply the derivative of this. So we're just gonna use the sum and difference rule, the constant multiple rule, the power rule. Um, lots of different rules we're using here, but hopefully this is getting easier for you. So this is gonna be six times the derivative of x cubed, which is three x squared, minus two times the derivative of x squared, which is two x, plus the derivative of one, which is zero. So my first derivative would be six times three x squared is 18 x squared, two times two x, negative two times two x, I should say, is minus four x. So that is my first derivative. From there, I'm gonna find my second derivative. My second derivative would be the derivative of this. So the derivative of 18 x squared would be 18 times the derivative of x squared, which is two x, minus four times the derivative of x, which is simply just one. So when I simplify this, I'm getting my second derivative to be 18 times 2x would be 36x minus 4. This allows me to find the third derivative, f triple prime of x. The derivative of 36x would be 36 times the derivative of x, which is 1, minus the derivative of 4, which is quite simply 0. So for my third derivative, I'm getting a value of 36, okay? Now let's move on, let's go to the fourth derivative now, because that's what it asked for, all the way to four derivatives. So this is f, we put a four in the numerator, or in the exponent with parentheses around it. So this is the fourth derivative, and the derivative of 36 is simply zero. So for f prime of x, we had 18x squared minus four x. For f double prime of x, we had 36x minus four. 
For the third derivative, f triple prime of x, we got 36. Sorry, wrong color there. 36. And for the last one, we got a derivative of 0. Okay, so what do you do? You just keep on finding the derivative of the derivative of the derivative of the derivative. Just continue the process on down.